What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome to another episode of Psycho Gamer. I am your host, Aubrey, and I am here to talk to you about some new home arcade machines that are going to be released starting sometime next month. At least that's what we've been hearing. So if you want to find out what they are, stick around, hit that like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and we'll talk about it right after this. All right, welcome back, guys. Like I said, we are going to talk about some home arcade machines that are possibly on the horizon. Now, will all these come out exactly like they're meant to from the arcades? I guess we're going to see. Now, we're going to be talking about a company called ICE. ICE is more well known for doing arcade game type machines, such as skee ball and hockey and things like that. I'm sure many of us have gone to many different arcades and played some of these little small games. We're going to go ahead and click over into my computer. We're going to take a look at some of these things that they're talking about and look at this one little news article that I ended up finding. So here we go. All right, so this information is from ArcadeHeroes.com. ArcadeHeroes.com says ICE launches new home-focused arcade product line, the Arcade Pro. So beginning October 20, 2020, we're releasing a line of arcade games made exclusively for your home. Sign up and be the first to know when we're live, which they're talking October, obviously. So you can start building your ultimate home arcade experience. Now, just by looking at the picture that is posted right here, these are some of the games that they're talking about releasing. Now, we are looking at Super Chex Pro, which I actually really liked that hockey game. That hockey game was really fun to play. You got Ice Ball, obviously based off of... Ah, there we go. Zooms in. Uh, basically, Ski Ball is really what that is. No ticket machine, but you can still have some fun with it. Imagine playing at home. Drunken Ski Ball. Yes, Drunken Ski Ball. You got your basketball games right there. NBA Game Time. Star Wars Electronic Pinball. Now, I know Arcade 1UP has already announced that they are making a Star Wars and a Marvel pinball adaptation. I think they're, I think they're doing all the programming themselves, though. So this is going to be a welcome addition to anybody that wants to have their own home pinball arcade machine. A couple of things of note that I have seen over here, though. There is a Jurassic Park game. Now, some of those games, they've released a few different variations where you're basically riding around a Jeep and they have a light gun in them. I'm not sure if this one's going to exactly have a light gun. Uh, what was it they said that this particular game is going to have? Uh, Raw Thrills Jurassic Park Arcade Machine. So Raw Thrills, as we know, some of their games have been what have been getting released with Arcade 1-Up, especially the new Big Buck Hunter game. That one actually is a Raw Thrills game. So they seem to be the king of dealing with light guns. So if they can actually translate the big arcade machine into a home arcade machine, I think that would make people very happy. Now this one right here is something I've seen some people actually asking about in my in my posts. And that is the Namco Miss Pac-Man Galaga class of 1981 arcade machine. So that was probably one of the best arcade cabinets that got released, I think, in the 2000s uh, or mid-2000s, somewhere around in there. It had both those games. They were It was a full arcade machine. Now, the only downside is, is if you really want to get one of these arcade machines for your home, you got to go spend like three or $4,000 at least, and that's for a pre-owned one. And that's also if it was refurbished, reconditioned a little bit. Because 
when they're in these arcades, like say Dave and Buster's and these little seedy, you know, bars, just in general, they're going to take some abuse. They're going to get beat up. You know, they're, they're going to have to have everything redone, uh, all the vinyl redone on the side. So if they can actually make a three quarter kind of arcade machine or even a cheaper full arcade machine, I think those are going to sell really, really good, especially the Jurassic Park. Now, as you can see, it's like double the size of a regular arcade cabinet because it's a two player game. But you also have to th take into consideration that it has the stool for you to actually sit in on the inside. So how that's going to fit in some people's homes, I'm not really 100% sure on. But some of the things are saying the lineup is officially christened as Arcade Pro. Here's an image that we just looked at that we can glean some things from. Some of the games are Super Checks Pro, which was that particular hockey game. Home version of Collegiate Hoops, which was that back there, even though it didn't look like it was anything collegiate. And a home version of their Ice Ball Alley Bowler. Ski Ball. You can also see Stern Pinball's Star Wars Home Pinball there. Namco's Class of 90, 1981 with Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. And a new cabinet of Raw Thrills Jurassic Park Arcade. Which is basically everything that I just talked about. Uh, this person asked Raw Thrills and they said that all they provided was the software and all the hardware that's being created is being done completely by this company, ICE. Doesn't sound like there's going to be any real changes of the gameplays other than it being free to play, but we're going to have to wait and see how the hardware and price differs from the full-blown commercial version. Are we going to have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on these machines? No. Hopefully they're going to make it into a more cost-effective consumer product so that we can actually get them into our homes without spending a buttload of money. I don't know about you, I don't think I can afford two, three, four thousand dollars for some of these. Now, if you go to like Walmart.com, you can see skee ball games that you can get for you know just a few hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, some upwards of a couple thousand dollars. Ugh, no, I could not do that. Uh, they're saying that ICE emphasized to this person the initial information is that the these pieces are all high quality while destined for the home. They're going to build. They are going to be built in the same factory with the same idea behind their commercial versions. They just don't have to have certain materials to be quite as thick like on the alley bowler. So you start looking at things like these. The glass might not be quite as thick or as durable as what you're looking at. Obviously, you don't have your coin slots or anything like that. So you don't have some of the mechanisms that you would find that are typical in these machines in the arcades. Now, looking like it's still going to have your actual timer as well as you know your scoreboard right up here when it comes to this, as well as digital scoreboards going to be all around over here for these particular machines. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the ICE Arcade Pro Division is going to be successful. Do you think you would want to get some of these for your home? You know, I think a lot. I think the big issue that a lot of people are going to have is they're not going to have the room for some of these machines. If they had the room for these machines, they'd have to have, geez, they'd have to have their own big room for it. Now, I'm not talking about just like a little man cave, like a like a garage or something like a basement or an attic or something like that, they're going to have to go and buy something like a tiny home. <laughs> or they're going to have to get one of these big sheds and convert it where you can actually do all this, where you can throw parties and things like that. So if I had the room, would I get a couple of these? I think the Jurassic Park and the Miss Pac-Man and Galaga 81 editions would be great additions. I think some of these other things are going to be just way too big for most consumers. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you liked the video. Maybe you had some good information taken away from this. I appreciate each of you coming out and watching my videos every single time I release it. Be sure you hit that like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. 
And until next time, guys, game on.